Starting tomorrow, more than 40 teams from across the West will be competing in a three-day robotics competition at a Grand Canyon University. The top three teams will qualify for the World Championships later on this year in Houston. That's right. I had a chance to meet one team from the West Valley dedicating this competition to Salt River Police Officer Clayton Townsend. You might remember Townsend was hit and killed on the Loop 101 during a service call in early January. He was hit by a man who admitted that he was texting and driving. And as I found out, not only has the team created a working robot, they've also put together a video warning people about the dangers of texting and driving. This regional is coming up. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah! For this group of future scientists, <laughs> made up of high school students from across the valley, should probably just keep the wheel spinning. Building robots gives launch team 6352 a special bond. One of the main connectors is our love for science and our love for robotics. <laughs> This year's mission is not only to build a working robot that can do this. Two alliances of deep space travelers race to place hatch panels on their rockets. It's to raise awareness about a cause close to their heart. While the robot is super important, it, there's community outreach. That's a big focus of our team. So when it came to the service portion of this year's competition, the team decided to dedicate their robot to Officer Clayton Townsend creating this video to warn their fellow students about the dangers of texting and driving. If you can't text and drive a robot, you can't text and drive a car. A couple of our students go to Sunrise, which is the um, high school that he graduated from, so it, it impacted us a lot. When the competition officially starts on Friday, winning will certainly be on their mind, but so will Officer Townsend. A big part of FIRST is that it's more than robots. Um, a big part is like helping our community. The driving force was we want to help our community. All right, we wish them the best of luck. Some amazing kids there. The competition, like I said, officially starts on Friday. It's in the GCU gymnasium. It's absolutely free to attend. Really neat. The team will also be holding a fundraiser for Officer Towns, and that's going to be on April 11th at the Culver's on 83rd Avenue in Deer Valley. And the robot will be there, guys. But I met the, this group of young kids. On Sunday, I went out there to shoot it, and they're from all across the valley, high schools from all across the valley. They call themselves a community team, but just amazing kids yeah. who really wanted to step up and do something for the community. And like you heard there, uh, some of the, the kids actually went to the high school that Clayton yeah. Townsend attended. And that's a, that's a rarity. I mean, a lot yeah. of times they're in it to win it, mm -hmm. but to actually rally behind such a special, you know, yeah, meaningful exactly. cause. Exactly. And they say nice. it's, and they also said, if you're interested in, in science and, and your kid wants to be a part of it and they're from the West Valley in that area, certainly give them a call. I'll put that on 12news.com. But uh, just some amazing kids. And go to the yeah. competition if you want to. It's free and it's amazing what these kids are doing. They're smart. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Good for them.